there guys welcome back to enigma 77 review so yes i've got rid of the christmas backdrop because technically for me christmas is over um i'm a bit of a i love to get the christmas decorations up i love the whole christmas feel i love the lead up to christmas not so much the expense but the whole decorations and the the nice warm cozy nights but now i can't wait to pull the whole lot down so i have cleaned my studio guys i have got a couple of things to look but they will be going and I've gone back for the winter backdrop because technically we're still in winter. Zach is trying to get in my room and I'm just going to ignore him. So guys, um, I've had a delivery and this was something that I purchased with the rest of my Christmas money. Um, I tried to spread my money out as much as I could. And obviously I got a little bit more money for Christmas um, off family and stuff, which I was really, really pleased about. So guys... I won't be doing um, what I got for Christmas, a whole big video, because there's no way in the world I'm going to look for things that I've had for the past three or four weeks <laughs> to showcase. Um, I will come back and do like some reviews on the things once I've worn them and stuff. One of the items I got for Christmas is actually on, which is the Killstar top that I got, including this scarlet and chains necklace i also got this for christmas but i showcase a lot of my items on the lead up to christmas guys so i'm sorry about that i have a few items that i didn't know anything about that i'll just quickly show you at the end and it really is a quickly show you but i did get some money so straight straight after on christmas night actually i um purchased these things and one of them have arrived today I've got a pain in my ears, guys, at the minute. Sorry. I think I'm starting with some kind of virus. So one of the items that I ordered has come, which is from Kate's Clothing. It was a, a buy one, get one free deal. And um, this family member gave me £20. So I spent that £20 and got two items for £20. Obviously, postage I had to pay, which is on top, but really it was nothing. Um, I also got money off another family member and with that I bought um, a Killstar item. It hasn't arrived yet and I will probably hold back on showing that until my replacement cardigan comes from Killstar. So I'll do that in a separate video and maybe an update on the clothes that I got from Killstar for Christmas that I've worn. And then the other item I got is from Dolls Kill and I've got a rant about that. I will go at the end. So, I have a few things that I got for Christmas that I'll show you at the end as well. It really is a few things. And I've got this item here, which is from Kate's Clothing. So, guys, um, it arrived today. It was really, really quick, actually. I mean, really, really quick. I love Kate's Clothing for the fast um, delivery time, dispatch time. Um, <laughs> we had a bit of <laughs> I had a bit of a confusion because I kept putting at the checkout point um bog off and it was bog off so it was bog o f and I was putting off and I was like it's not going through am I doing something wrong blah, 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 blah. eventually we sussed it out and it was quite funny when I realized that I was putting bog off instead of bog off so guys I got two items let me just put that back down there because I'm Took my address off so i've got two items i love necessary even evil guys so i got i got two tops for christmas from necessary evil one was from my mum one was from my mum-in-law um obviously they both went away and they've come back now um i've not worn either i got the velvet off the shoulder that goes in your thumb inset kill star uh, necessary evil velvet top so that's in my wardrobe, still with my tags on. And then I got the other one that's got the back sleeves. Um, that is really, really nice as well. And it's got the Necessary Evil hook and eye kind of design, which is kind of their signature. Um, I haven't worn that either. That's still upstairs. So now I've got two more items. Two more items. And hopefully before this deal ends, I might go ahead and grab another two more before it ends because there was two other things that I wanted to get but they were quite small in size like they were size 12 and I just don't know if I'd fit in a 12 or I thought if I buy it, it's an incentive to try and fit in it so we'll see but guys I bought this item for £20 and I got the other item for free which was also £20 so this is my first item oh yeah so 
I got an XL, guys, because I do find that necessary evil sizings are true to their sizes. They're very, very good. I like one of the reasons what's drawn me to buy more necessary evil is the sizes. And um, Heavy Metal Mama, because she looks absolutely amazing in the outfits and she really does model them off well. So for that reason, she entices me to buy them. Now, I didn't use Lolly's cord for this one um, because it's a bug off deal. I'm not sure if you could use a cord, but I think I will go ahead and use Heavy Metal Mama's um, code next time I want to buy some other things from there. There is a few things that I want to buy that's not on the sales section. So this is the top, guys. Um, so it has a high net collar, like a choker effect, and then it's open at the front, which I love. It's short sleeved, but guys, just look, look. I just love it. So it's all open sleeve. So it's like a cold shoulder, but then this buckle design on the arm. Oh, I just, I seen this and I knew straight away it was going to be mine. And then again on that side, and it looks like a plain black straight top. But it comes with this belt and that wraps around it as well to give it that belt finished look that both require so it matches like the choker it matches the arms i don't think there's there's tabs no it just goes round i will do a try on so you can see guys it may be later on this evening i do a try on because i have got guests coming in the next 25 minutes so i don't want to be running around to try and close on while they're here uh, that was 20 pound guys and that was on the sale as you can see x stop sticking on my finger necessary evil xl so guys, I'm not gonna put it there because I've been burning incense sticks and there's all ash on it. So then, this was my free item. Now guys, I seen this and I, I, I fell in love with it instantly and I don't know why I've not seen it before. I think maybe it was on the normal kind of clothing part of um, Kate's clothing. I try and avoid going on there because I know it's a little bit over not overpriced, alternative clothing is expensive anyway, but a little bit out of my price range. I, I probably could get something from there, but then it would mean like I would, I don't know, I'd have to do without certain things for a month. And I try to balance, I try to balance things out, but guys, I love this. <gasps> I think Lolly, if she hasn't got this, she probably will get it. It is beautiful. Look at it, guys. So, woo, I can't wait to try this on. I may have to put a crop top underneath it, guys. I don't mind wearing crop tops when there's such thing like lace netting over the top. I don't mind it, but I just don't like wearing crop tops as an open thing. Oh, God, this looks lovely. So, guys, again, it's necessary evil, just to show you. And I got an XL. So it's high necked and it's got the hook and eye design, which I tell you is the Necessary Evil logo, kind of, you know it's them. I love this, I love it. It's on my other top that's upstairs. I love the fact that the, I like high neck tops. I think they, they really do suit me. Some people don't like high neck. Um, I personally do, I like things up here. Um, I've got a bit of a reaction going on at the minute, guys. The um, Jack Skeleton necklace has got pewter in it, so <laughs> I've been scratching. So it's a lovely lace. Oh, I've got to try and stand up and show you this, guys. It is beautiful. So it's this lace top, and it's got like the, got a bit of fluff on it. I'm going to try and take that off. As you can see, guys, your arms go in here, and it's quite tight on the thing, and then it like, it like, back wings it kind of ruffles out like so see can you see oh i love it i absolutely love it and the material feels it you know how you get some like um kind of lace tops and they're quite rough the feel of this is quite velvety it's quite silky it's very stretchy it's very giving I just love, I think I may have a new love for Necessary Evil more than Killstar. I know, but I just like the quality. I really do love the quality of Necessary Evil. So, mm, I've got four items up to now. I do want to grab a pair of leggings and maybe a skirt from Necessary Evil just to mix it up. I really do like the colour that Lolly's got. That's 19 at the minute. <coughs> 
I may go back and get that collar and maybe a pair of trousers because I do wear more trousers than I do dresses. I do have a lot of dresses. Guys, if you do want to see a video of going through my wardrobe, it will be a bit of a scatty, crazy looking thing because I've got a mishmash of things in my wardrobe. If you do want to see that, pop a comment on below and I will sort that out for next year as one of my videos. So that was that, guys. So that was two tops for £20 and I think I got an absolute bargain. Love it. Love both tops. I'll do a try on, guys. So, yeah, it says here um, £19.99, £20 and, and your £3.95 delivery. Super duper. Right, guys, so that was them two from Necessary Evil. If you want to see some more Necessary Evil clothing on my channel, again, pop a comment on below. I know some people have still stuck to Killstar. Um, I probably won't be buying as much Killstar. Uh, maybe if there's a good thing on sale, I'll grab it. I won't, I won't go and buy off the actual thing because it's too expensive. Right, so what did I get apart from all the clothes you've seen? There is some shoes that you haven't seen. I've got three pairs of shoes for Christmas that are still on the way because they've come from the US, which I never knew about. And I've got, obviously, another item from Killstar and the other cardigan. We're going to see what that looks like when it zips up. So I've still got them few things on the way. So out of everything, I got some makeup holders, guys, which is like what you put your lipsticks in. Let me just grab and show you. So I got a whole bunch of these. And they've got all like diamonds at the bottom, but you can't see. It's all sequins and diamonds. So I put like my MAC, like my higher end lipsticks in here. So I've got like my MAC, I've got my Sugar Pill, um, I've got my NYX, um, I've got my Anew that I just got recently. I've got my Ted Baker in there. Um, yeah, so it's got a mixture of things. And I got another one, guys, but it's really far back. So I don't really want to grab it. I also got this little little what you call ring dish but I like it down here because I've got a lot of like rose gold stuff in here so I got that as well with my initial R for Rachel I put that with all my makeup over there guys um, if you do want to see uh, a makeup tour updated because you haven't seen one since beginning of the year pop a comment on below and I'll do that for you with that I got this little fella <laughs> he's so cute so guys, you do know I absolutely love penguins. I've loved penguins since I was about six years old. I've always loved penguins. And um, my stepmom, well, she's not my, she's my stepmom. She's, she's not with my dad anymore, but she's still my brother and sister's mom. And we got on really, really well. Um, and it's a shame that I didn't get to grow up with her because I think we'd have been really, really like best friends. But she got me that little R and she got me the makeup accessories. Oh, and she also got me this. I nearly forgot. Oh, I've ripped it. So she got me this Profusion makeup set as well. Um, I've not opened it, but you can see I've got all these shades going along in this full length mirror. And then I've got like the bronzing, the blusher, and I've got the eyebrow stuff and all the accessories. I don't know how she knew that I, I love Profusion, but she did, and that's what I got. And she got me this as well, guys. So this is what you put in the microwave, and it smells of lavender. You can't smell the lavender while it's at normal temperature, but when you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, I put it in for a minute, to be honest with you guys, and I take it up to bed with me, and I don't like a light. Apart from last night, that's another whole story. So I got this um, and it's called Winter Snuggles, I think it's called. Oh, Warmies, Winter Warmies. And it is so plush and cute. And it feels like a little bean bag, but you know it's got them things inside. Now, Zach got one as well, but he got a teddy bear one, a bigger one. Um, he's not over keen on the scent of it, unfortunately. It makes him gag, but he'll get used to it. So I got that, guys. And then I got this beautiful, I have started burning this, so I really am sorry. I got this beautiful candle from my best friend Gemma. We we promised not to do presents for each other this year because, you know, it was a tough, a tough year this year. But she was, she messaged me and said, you've had a really horrible year. She went and, you know, you give so much to everybody. So here's a little something given back to you. So she got me this, it's called the Christmas Spice season candle 
guys, I've got to tell you, it outsmarts every candle that I've got burning in my living room. And it burns a tree. It doesn't like pool to the sides. It is lovely. And it's from home. So I'm not too sure where that's from. But I love the colours. I will reuse this without a doubt. She knows I'll reuse it. I will put either votives in there or I'll get another candle and stick it in there. But I'll never get that amazing scent. It's like, it's it definitely is like a cinnamon. Yeah, it's cinnamon. And I love the box it came in. It came in this beautiful box with the string and you wrap it around. I just think attention to detail like that is everything. So then I got a bottle of Ted Baker perfume from my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, which is my husband's sister. Um, I think we got perfume. I got a Hugo Boss last year. Yeah, I got Hugo Boss and my husband got the male Hugo. This year we've got a his and hers Ted Baker. Um, his smells really, really nice as well. And Zach's got a bottle of Ted Baker, but we got him last year, so we're the Ted Baker family. So guys, this is the bottle. It looks very much like the blue Ted Baker that Zach's got, which is a beautiful scent. I bought this for my dad last year. Mmm, it's a very, very sweet, sweet floral scent. It's me to a tea, and I think Stephanie knows what kind of scent I love. I think after nine years, she knows me very, very well. Um, it doesn't really say the fragrance, but I can tell you it is beautiful, and it lingers. I sprayed this on Christmas Day, um, and then the next morning when I woke up, I could still smell it off my skin, and I just thought, well, that's good going. And that is the Ted Baker London, and it's a 75 ml. Absolutely love that. So I got that. I wasn't expecting to get any perfume this year, guys. So I was like, yay, get in. I also got this beautiful Bayless and Harding set. I get a Bayless and Harding set every year, regardless of who it's from. I seem to always get one every year and I love it. I've got a whole cupboard full under my sink in the bathroom of Bayless and Harding and I do use it. I just don't use it as much because I love it. So I got this from um, Ben's auntie and uncle and it's a sweet mandarin and grapefruit. It comes with, um, let me see what it says at the back, toiletry bag. Oh, there's an actually, there's a toiletry bag inside that. How good is that? Um, it comes with um, a body wash, a hand and body lotion, a massage, a shampoo, wow, a conditioner. And a bath cream. How good is that? I've never seen a Bayless and Hardy shampoo and conditioner. And there's a makeup, there's a there's a bag at the back so you can put it all in. I absolutely love that. That's obviously come from Boots because it's got that little symbol on it. So that was that, guys. And then I just got some luxury chocolate, some Thorntons with a few other little bits and pieces that I can't find. Everything's spread around. I also got some earrings. I will do them in another video and um, they haven't arrived yet I know it took ages I don't know what's happened to them but I have bought them I will do them in a separate video maybe when the other stuff comes I will just throw it in and then I got one of these and I didn't expect this now oh I got this as well so from my mother-in-law I got the necessary evil velvet top that has the inserts in which you've seen in a previous video I also got some fur um, like thermal leggings that are like silky on the outside and they're all fur. They were from Marks and Spencers. They are amazing. They keep you warm. They're stretchy. I absolutely love them. It's my second pair now. I also got some luxury bed socks from Marks and Spencers. They are so goddamn comfy. I haven't got them on at the minute. And then I got this top. I picked this top. Um, I get to pick what I want, but I got this top, which I wore on Christmas Day. You would have seen it in my video. And it was from Wallace. It was £33. Um, there was three different versions of this Wallace top. There was this version, which was sleeveless. There was a long sleeve blouse in it as well. And then there was a very, very long, like, it cut off at the side. That one looked very, very pretty as well. But I was... Again, I was very drawn to the high neck. I kind of like that and the open. And then it's got like a little back. Oh, and I, I grabbed a new skirt as well, guys. As well, that came. I forgot to mention that. I also got some unicorn jammers that are upstairs and more bed socks and things. Certain things that I'm not going to get because I've thrown them in the wash. 
I have actually worn them. But that was that top that I got for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. And then that's all I thought I was getting. I knew what I was getting apart from the leggings and the socks. Um, and then I got this and I was like, <gasps> I got to tell you guys, I am one of the most um, grateful kind of people that when I get things, no matter how small, how cheap, I love it. If I if it's something I absolutely love, you can tell and it's written all over my face. And as soon as I open this, um, obviously it was in here and it's actually on my wrist. I was like, oh, I've been going on for the longest time that I my mother-in-law's got one on her wrist. And I said, I want one of them. And I did drop hints to everybody at Christmas and nobody was taking the hint. And in the end I thought, Do you know what? I'll just buy it for my birthday, like with my birthday money, because I'm having money for my birthday. I'll get a few gifts that I won't know about, but I've asked for money so I can go out and buy. Um, I think I want to get some more demonia boots, I don't know. So, um, yeah, I got this, which is um, a fitness tracker. I am not the fittest person in the world. As you know, I've got a long-term um, debilitating back disability, which prevents me from doing certain fitness, but I can walk a certain distance with my walking aid. I can do slight exercise at home. I can sit down and do exercise. I can I can do a few things and this tracks it. But what appeals to me the most is it tells it tells me when people message me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, anything that I've used as a social platform, WhatsApp, emails, um, when somebody rings me, when somebody messages my phone. It also tracks your steps, it tracks your sleep, which I've always wondered how my sleep goes because to me I feel as if I sleep deep but I actually don't and it, it kind of makes sense now. But one thing that appealed to me the most with, with this wasn't the fact that it tracks your steps because my phone does that anyway, I've got an iPhone. Um, it's the fact that one, it records your sleep so I can see how good or how bad I am sleeping but it also tracks your heart rate. Now, as you know, I have a tachycardia heart now, at the minute, my heart is fluctuating up and down from 82 up to 97. Um, the highest my heart rate goes, apparently, is when I sleep. It goes to 106 up to 108. At the minute, it's on 86. Um, I have a tachycardia heart. If you don't know what that means, my heart beats faster than the normal heart. Um, but I could, I, I could get really, really poorly if my blood pressure drops. My blood pressure is at a good even key, so it doesn't affect me too much. But if my blood pressure drops under a certain kind of number and my heart goes up, I experience what we call a tachycardia. I will pass out or I will faint, and I've done it a few times. And now I understand a bit more how my heart is beating. Because when I was going in for my operation, they had to give me something to slow my heart down because... It wasn't because I was stressed, because I wasn't stressed. It was because I have a tachycardia heart. But I got this for Christmas. I absolutely love it. I'm still figuring out things on it. Um, but yeah, that is what I got for Christmas, guys. And I'm absolutely stoked. I will show you the shoes when eventually they come. I will just tell you quickly my scenario. So I ordered off a site called Dolls Kill. I was not made aware that it was a US site. I had no idea probably because I've never been on it before. I just went straight to the shoe sale section and seen some shoes that I wanted and I put them straight in my basket and I bought them. And the postage was seven pound. And I thought, oh, that's quite steep. But you know, maybe, you know, cause it's two pairs of shoes, that's probably why. And I paid the postage, I paid for my shoes. And I thought, oh, I'm not gonna get them too soon because I ordered them Christmas day night. So I knew that I wouldn't be getting them anytime soon because obviously I got them with my Christmas money. And then this morning I got up and checked my email. Sorry about that noise you can hear. I don't know if some neighbors have decided to carry on with doing their work on a just a Christmas period. So I um, got an email and it said, um, I have to pay custom charges of £12.85 for my shoes. That's just two pairs. I've got another pair coming that my husband's bought me as well. So that's that's another like fee that he's gonna have to pay. He's not very happy about it. He's not blaming me because I didn't know that it was a US site. 
Um, I have said to him, if you want to cancel them, by all means cancel them, I don't mind. But he's like, no, because this was your last present I were going to get you. And they were on sale. They were all really good prices, and that's why we grabbed them. And now we're having to pay, basically, a price for another pair of shoes that we haven't got. So I'm just going to check with Dolls Kill if this is right. If it's right, they should have told me, and so forth. Um, yeah, so that's that. Right guys, so that is it. Before I wrap this up, um, my videos might not be very, like, I'm going to try and keep to the days that I said I was going to keep to, but I'm not very well, guys. I have had um, an issue. As you know, I had an operation done not that long ago, and I thought recovery was very, very long, and I thought everything was going fine, but unfortunately, something has gone wrong, and I have picked up on it. Um, I am now trying to be referred back to my gynaecologist because if this isn't fixed, it's going to affect me in the worst possible way. Um, I don't want to discuss it on camera because it is a personal thing, but those who know me will know that if I'm quiet, it's it's because I'm, I'm trying to kind of accept what I'm going through again because it's like I thought I got fixed and now I'm back to square one. I'm not fixed, so Ugh, frustrating. All right, guys, that is it. I will go and try these on and uh, tell me what you think and go and grab the buy one, get one free offer on Kate's clothing before it finishes. I'm hoping that she's got it on for another two weeks so I can grab two more before it ends. All right, guys, take care of yourself. And I oh, it's vibrating and it's telling me Nat Beauty is messaging me on Instagram. Hi Nat! <laughs> I will reply to her as soon as I get off here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now. Okay, guys, so this is the um, lace top. As you can see, it opens up all the way. So you could wear a vest top under this if you wanted to. I'm just trying it with a little crop top on. You could wear it with a skirt, I could wear it with trousers. My skirt would go really nice with this, it's got the same material. And as you can see, it's very long. It's like a poncho, but a lace poncho. I love the neck. It's very, very high net. And obviously the hook at the back. My husband's on the hooked in too. But if the third one was hooked, it'd be quite tight. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love this. Um, definitely worth the money. I would say and the material feels amazing. I can't wait to wear this, guys. And like I said, it is like a poncho. You could actually put a belt here, guys, if you wanted to. So, leggings and a thing, a belt. Perfect, let's go and try the other top on. Okay guys, this one is slightly like different. Well, it's a lot different. <coughs> Sorry about that noise guys, I don't know who it is, but they're driving me up the wall. So, as you can see, it's definitely, I love the open, I just love, because obviously I want both of my arms, my whole sleeves done eventually. And I'm having a big tattoo done on my birthday here. And, <clears throat> and then further on in the year, I'm going to go on the inside of here. So I've, I kind of made a start at the bottom of my arms. But I love the whole opened arm effect with this. I find it really sexy. It's very nice. And an added bonus is having this as well. Now, that's as tight as I've got mine. I've got quite a slender neck. I've got quite a little neck. Um... I'd probably want it to be a little bit tighter, but like my husband said, it'd look silly if you gathered that too much. So maybe it's fine. I probably wouldn't wear a necklace with it, or if I did, I'd have something that's probably a bit longer. It needs ironing, guys, so I haven't ironed it. I don't have time. The belt is a little bit on the tight side for me. That is on the last one, as you can see. And I'd probably... No, it isn't. No, it's on the last one. Um, and it's not too bad. I've still got some room in it. But I don't like having this part restricted because this part will then make this part pull out. But I do like to pull myself in. I'd probably wear this with my leather trousers or a leather skirt. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I don't find this as, uncom as comfortable as the other top that I had on. But I'd probably, this would look better maybe with some leather trousers then i can have like something that's pulling me in because obviously this is where my area is fortunately for me i can't do anything about that anymore i mean i used to be very 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 tiny at the waist and very very flat on my tummy but um yeah never mind but i do love this top it does cover your back end 
if you was to pull it down it does cover um you could wear it without a belt guys you don't have to wear a belt you can just have it as a really bag down top but i kind of like the whole idea of having the belt as well just to emphasize your waist um but you could wear any belt with it i could wear my kill star belt with this if i wanted or i could buy another belt from necessary evil but there you go guys that is my two tops what do i think i think they're both absolutely lovely what i will do guys i will come back and i will do um, a four week review so i'll have these for four weeks i'll wear them i'll wash them i'll iron them i will tell you what i think i put my clothes in the dryer i'll put them in the dryer and see what happens unless it says do not tumble dry then i won't but um <laughs> we'll come back in four weeks and we'll do an update on this. I'm going to come back in three weeks and do an update on my Kill Star because I am starting to wear my Christmas Kill Star clothes now. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.